Well, Scott and I would like to share with you how Jesus has impacted us and really how we've become closer to Jesus. And one of them is the devotional text that we use to describe how we do our devotions. And the second way is to share um, an idea that's called the marriage tent and how we've brought Jesus into our marriage. One of the things I like about the idea of the marriage tent is uh, leaving, cleaving, and one flesh like a, a tent or a triangle. And in the center is, um, is the cross where um, Christ remains the central part of our uh, marriage, the central part of our lives. And because he's alive and because of the resurrection, um, we always have the encouragement of Christ. To me, the goal of, the, of um, marriage is to be one in Christ and then to grow in Christ's likeness and then uh, from there to serve in whatever God wants us to do. I should say too that if you're not married, um, the presence of Jesus also functions as a tent over you. And you have all those same kinds of benefits um, that I was talking about in the marriage tent. The, the book that we use is called The Daily Text. It provides me with hope. And that hope is despite the circumstances that I'm in. And I have found that to be the overreaching value of reading God's word every day. Hope means that, <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about the contrast between difficult family situations, um, situations that we don't see any, po we don't see the positive outcome, we worry about it, we wonder what will happen in the future. So I have the individual concerns and then because of our smartphones, I also am reading the news every day. Both those worries need to be balanced with hope. And so if you're not reading God's word, what is the hope for our life? I mean, it is Jesus taking care of us and guiding us and, and giving us direction for how much he loves us and you know, how much he will help us in our actions, the choices we make for how we're going to, to live, how we speak, how we act, everything, everything. But he does have to change your mind to, you know, whatever our personalities are for me, I'm a worrier. So for me, that's a gift. I would say the hope is to counteract worry.